Well, Curiosity Fair is fantastic because what it does, it takes a great venue, Connor Prairie, where kids can come and know they're going to have fun. And then you put things in front of them or have things in their hands that they can do that are interesting to them that stir that curiosity and that, and that get them all fired up about learning and learning technical things, things that they can use in the future. So there's all sorts of neat smells with the kettle corn and, and the foods wafting, but the kids, you'll see lots of kids smiling at each um, station and booth, lots of interesting um, conversations going on about, oh, what's this over here? There's so much going on out there. There's b between just all the steam engines and historic tractors. We have, you know, model airplane flight simulators. we got chemistry shows. We have Indy racing cars, we have car crash testing in a lot of different forms. We have mechanics camp that uh, they have engines uh, laid out where kids can come up and just kind of tinker with and play with. And the Bloomington Symphony is up here uh, with their instrument petting zoo, so if they're curious about what kind of instruments you can play. You can go up there and try everything from a tambourine, trombone, to a harp. Um, you know, there's several really cool uh, science demonstrations from Dow and Butler University. Um, we have our earthquake uh, shake tables going out there with kids building towers and watching them kind of shake all over the place. Uh, IMI's out there talking about uh, concrete and cement and kids are making up their little fossil molds. Our booth is about bubbleology, so all of the participants are becoming bubbleologists and they learn about the science and social studies behind the bubble. Today I was doing our healthy oils activity. We're trying to get the kids to understand, you know, the benefits of eating healthy. One of the things they do is do a popcorn taste test and then they would, they would basically say which one they preferred and then they would uh, understand which was the healthier one. So today we're just doing one of the programs, one of the many programs that we do in science outreach. This one is chemistry is a blast where we get to do the fun things of chemistry, blow things up and show them a number of different chemical reactions. Very interactive. The kids get to participate, so it's hands-on. I think that STEM is um, one of the most critical pieces in education today. And so we want to encourage the next generation of students to pursue careers in science. Your kids will be asking powerful questions about everyday things that they come in contact with, and there's no better gift you can give your kids than to expose them to those types of questions. So many kids today have come up and said they're going to be a scientist, they're going to be a chemist, they're going to work at Lilly, and I'd love to hear that, and that's, that's our future.